Here we're trying out an RCA 88A. Uh, I got it on eBay for under $100. Uh, thanks to Mike Tappan at Northfield Sound. Uh, he connected a XLR cable to it and uh, in under 20 minutes and boom it worked. Uh, it's pretty cool. I think they started making these in 1939. Uh, this thing weighs like as much as a grenade. It's really heavy. Um, as I get closer to it, uh, and my you know my mouth is touching the mic, there's not uh, there's no proximity effect. Uh, the grill holes are very small. Um, I'm gonna back off a little bit. To see the difference here. Probably about four inches away now. Um, it does have that nasally old school. Uh, broadcasting sound I guess maybe that's the placebo effect I'm gonna to try to use it live um, we do have it in uh, high Z right now which uh, makes it a little bit quieter I'm not sure how that affects the tone um, but I'm gonna compare it with a sure 12a which is a uh, cheap version of the uh, SM58 and then I'm gonna compare that with the an uh, audio technica 4047 condenser microphone all right, let's try the Sure out next. I tried to keep the volume levels at roughly the same uh, height as much as I could, but uh, that's pretty difficult. Uh, this is the Sure 12A. I guess it's looks like a SM58 vocal mic. Uh, probably a cheaper version of that. I'm not really sure. Um, so let's try the AT4047 next. Here we go with the AT4047. This is a condenser. Uh, obviously a lot more powerful uh, I'm probably about eight inches away from it I do have a vocal screen on it uh, you can hear a little buzzing from my computer which is uh, right next to me uh, that's probably a major difference that you hear uh, let's go back to the RCA uh, to compare so there you have it there's a quick comparison we have the RCA 88A the sure 12A versus the AT4047 I'll do it one more time the RCA 88A versus the sure 12A versus the AT4047